to a 2-1. It's also a matchup that it's not something you see all that often, right? You very oh, oh no, top. and he hits the tail too. Down you go, Sip starting perfectly. My God, absolutely. He didn't need the piercing side for that. He just read his opponent perfectly. Lands. Oh no, oh, no, Wes. Oh no. Of the map, he goes with 50 seconds left on the clock. Sip is gonna be smiling after that one. Kind of had to get that 1v1, and he landed it perfectly. And especially CNZ managed to take heavy. He should have won that one, but Sparty just relentless with the Shanti damage. Whoa! Oh my That's god. That's flag movie material coming out of absolutely nowhere, the mid air rocket. Same thing with the Tribal. The second he was like on it, fresh on his tail, he had like 30 HP left. The tribal was doing enough damage. Oh, oh combos! Into the game, you can continue putting out that consistent damage, which is exactly what CNZ's been doing. What does your opponent even have to work with? Sparty really putting all of his resources into this mega. However, Tribal is still going to seal the deal. And he, the one running the item, Sparty playing more of the passive control game. Oh, no, no! 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 What? Oh, no! My man tripped oh. on his own shoelaces. Oh, my God. Storyline of last map is that Piranha has been on the offensive and controlling the map the entire time, but Bucks has managed to keep the scoreline so low. Oh, oh he's perfect. read it. Perfect read. Perfect wow. read. You rarely see someone read Nyx's Ghost Walk on this map when there are so many places she can go. And it is starting to run away from Buckster a little bit. The yes. rail has been on the money. Oh, oh, oh my god. What was that? Oh man. That's when the crazy stuff starts to happen. Another rail. Another right. rail. I think that's a common... Ugh. You just don't want to get caught in the wrong position here. He's going to chase it down. Ball rush! Oh! Into the pillar! Oh. That may as well have done environment damage. He hit it so hard. <laughs> Healthy enough to make a fight. Yeah, Sib really struggling to find any way into this. And Rafa just like... Just look at Rafa's positioning right now. You're going to do even if you get one frag, two frag, five frags. There's two minutes left. And Rafa can just slam down the break. Beautiful tracking right there, by the way. Yeah, what you're saying is entirely correct. And also, you have to keep in mind, weapon respawn oh timers word. are actually at five seconds. Oh my oh, god! No. <laughs> and he does so incredibly Found well. Found him again. You can hear him. Yeah. That's another downside. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Guaranteed. The second he hit that jump pad, like, over. I think so too, but I mean, on the other hand, what can you do against that kind of onslaught, right? And it wasn't just this map, it was the same on Corrupted Keep. Oh, that was cool though. All right. Absolutely, all right. Sparty just picked up the heavy, this, so he's somewhere behind the hang, trying to find him. The hang did use the Ghost Hog. This is an opportunity for the Swede. He's coming in aggressively, needs to land these rails, or hate stand something. Oh, and again, oh, there, that's the end. Down. That was a good read by Kilson. But he was himself looking a little bit timid. Wow! Oh my god, I can't even, can't even believe he managed to find that angle that quickly. Complete opposite effect of what we saw previously, where like these rails have been on fire and it's Zenaku, that's just knocked down, mate. Finish the job, sorry, but there's nothing you can do about that. His heat map of movement is about a third of the entire spectrum of what's available to him. He's just sitting around that high ground. Oh. <laughs> Did he just bounce onto the totem? He bounced him from the rocket on the totem, and Chain could do nothing to stop that. As close to the walling as you can, and already that's not good. Crazy. Oh, the perfect it. read. The per oh my god, crazy. Oh, no. Just a few seconds left. Cypher knows the timing exactly. Oh, oh what a yeah. rocket. Psychic has to get out of dodge. Yep. And that's a good play from Cypher because obviously he knows in that situation, Psychic can't drop on him. Oh, <laughs> oh his face. <laughs> okay. Cypher now putting himself in this position, Psychic jumping across. Yeah, that's... Oh, he's right there next to him. The rockets are good. Can he finish it off? Good use of the turrets. Psychic is going to push in. Oh, mama. Cypher drops down the little hidey hole. He gets out. Hang on. That's a good rail. Can he find the final bit of shotgun damage? Shotgun. He's chasing, but oh, no. He realizes that two rockets would have killed him and he would have eaten one before he got into anywhere. Hang on. Oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> the tribal finish before the mega. 200 IQ play from Cypher right there. That oh. was beautiful. Greedy Psygib, like, <laughs> greedy. And unless Rom does something urgently, he's got no foothold on this map. And Venga has a really great push, and we already see the creativity coming out with that yep. Ranger and the aggression that Venga likes to bring. 
Good control of the center map, it gives him an excellent base of operations. Oh, what a Two pain. rails, here we go. Krom does drop the totem to heal himself right back up. Oh, <laughs> nice! Play to it, and this is what we uh, talked about in terms of Galena versus Ranger. It definitely oh suits the way Venga wants to play better, and at the minute, he is on fire. Dogs play. One machine gun bullet would have finished him right then and there for peeking completely unnecessarily. And now he's just getting railed time and time again, and down he goes. He's already in a position where if he sits and you don't know where he is, he's tough to make the read. This defensive rails again coming through. Perfect rocket, just short of. And oh, ooh, no. the combo, painful stuff. Yep. And when the time comes to actually land one shot to just seal it, Base has hit it every time. He's been on the money. This map is done. Tox completely unable to really do much there. Couldn't really find him. Base just had that perfect, perfect runaway game, which is just what the bread and butter of this map is. It's what you yep. expect to see, and Base played it perfectly every yeah. time. There's always going to be a totem drop during a fight. There's going to be that instant burst of health. You kind of have to do the math on the fly. It's what makes Galena so scary. If she can start to fortify some great rails though from Avec. But Raph is out of position for the Mega, not realizing that Cypher's forgotten it. Setting up for the heavy in advance and he had to pop the Ghost Walk because Cypher appears. That's good news oh, for Cypher. Beat. Yeah. It is not over till it's over. 50 seconds on the clock, Ghost Walk up in eight seconds, some amazing try oh. And that's all she wrote. Victory is gonna go to Rafa here. And then Gerd knows it's trying to trap him down near Super Shotgun. Can he find a rail angle? Indeed he can. The hang now low and hurting, and that's a shot Van Gerd is going to hit 10 out of 10 times. Important to finger now. Oh, you've seen that one before. He's not gonna fall for it twice. That's a lot of damage still coming out. So many nice combos, rocket into rail, plasma into rail, just over and over again. Look at the rail like I mean, and, Ray, and the hang doesn't really need to care. He can use the rail all he wants because Venger spawned near rocket. The rocket launcher is all he has access to. Oh, that was a good one. Oh! That was uh, just the final nail in the coffin the right there. The ledge, as always, claiming a victim. Toxic kind of creeping up on him though, doing a decent amount of damage. Rail. Yep. That's a good shot back at Kilson. Is he gonna want to do something with it? I think he's just gonna stay in control of himself. Oh, Dog's getting caught in a bad position. Thank you. He has used the Ghost Walk in a very unusual position here as Tox goes up the jump pad. Tox, Kilson's made a big mistake, but that rocket is incredible! Oh. Oh. And again, picking up a light armor here or there. Doing a little bit of damage without return. That's what he needs to do. I think turret is gonna be in the way of the Mega. Where is he stuck? He's so low, what? but he hits the rocket! few seconds left to make his way back over to the Mega. That rail, that's basically going to make it so that Vengur can't really contest for this. Yep, indeed, he has to get he back wants. out of there. Oh, oh. Yeah, and he clipping. You can tell that Kilsen, he just, he took wow. too much damage in that engagement to try and capitalize on the lack of Whoa. shield. What? Crazy, these jumps, man. So quick across the map. He used the nail gun, right? He used the nail gun to get that extra little bit of air and verticality that he needed. Kills oh no! Is he even going to take the gauntlet? My god, Razy. He could have done it with the shotgun, absolutely, but he said, no, oh, I am going to make a statement. <laughs> and a statement he and made. You can see Kilson moving in, maybe a slightly frustrated, but not hitting anywhere near enough rockets. And this is the problem, what I said to you guys before, is if Razy gets this good start and he gets a stack advantage, he's still got the shield. Like, yeah. he can just push through this corridor if he sees Kilson now with the shield up if he wants to, and he does that exact thing. Kilson might steal it away, and he doesn't even do that. Yeah, that would have at least been the silver lining of that engagement, being able to deny the heavy to Razy, because then, how some the robot. It's, it might be ringed out again, but no, he gets away. Um, and you can see the internal oh! Kilson. Taking his way over there. Kilson's already waiting though. The defensive rocket's raining down. Oh, the peeker is gonna hit the ceiling. That wasn't worth it. Almost knocking Kilson off the LG. What? Whoa, that was 100% tracking. When those wrists don't work out, your win probability reduces even more. Oh, and Great there we go. The yeah, but I just want to give a huge shout out to Razy's LG aim. Oh my god, this is some of the best lightning gun we've seen all yeah. tournament, Dan. There's some disrespect, some oh, BM no. coming out right there. I mean, Kills he was like... Missed the rail, he's in a lot of trouble here because that super shotgun can just kill you outright if Razy hits it, but he doesn't. And Kilson, he's mad. Oh, wow. Is <laughs> this so is something <laughs> I've never seen out of Kilson before. <laughs> Oh no, be careful of the tribal. This is oh, the bad range. Oh, this is like the worst possible range. Jeez. 
Kielsen knows how much damage he is. He's going to push in here. He definitely knows he's got him if he goes in. What? Somehow Razy is... Wait, this is what? Right. Who gets it? Kielsen! Holy crap. He's pretty good at forcing spawn frags, although on this map it is hard to get back-to-back -back frags. But then again, he does have the Athena, so he can get there quickly. Razy is okay. hiding on the outside. What? How is that a thing? No! No! Oh my god. What? He's been found! And he's off! Somehow, Kilson found him, shaking his head like, boy, that is not gonna work on me. There was somewhat of an air of doubt that maybe there was something there. There's always a theory. Well, okay, why did he go around that corner? Why would he possibly go there? Especially when base keeps nice. given, right? Base is just... Shouts to 40 Lions, but as we can see now, more rocket damage coming through. He's really trying to do what he can, but to no avail. Fundamentals and goes right around to securing himself the item rotation again. Here we go. Race is actually going to be going to drop down first, but damn, what a nice combo. Ability of where she can go. Uh, she is going to be a little bit harder to pin down than most. Rafa not quite having the same level of trouble. Razy is taking a lot of damage. The shield oh, was used. Nice. Keeps him alive long enough to survive another one, but it might be too late. Oh, Rafa takes so much damage. Try and reactionary flick to one grappling hook. Guess what? She's done a second one. It just really mixes up how you're going to try and play that. Rafa, instant speed boost thanks to a grappling hook. One is left mid air for Razy, point blank. Game, and he tried to do that, but Rafa had a much better handle on playing that mid ground. Razy wasn't able to have a foot ground on this map. Every one of his pushes has been in around the major items. And Rafa, look at. Oh my! Just God. disgusting. You think he's a sitting duck and Athena? You know what I said earlier that she plays a different game to everyone else? But Rafa just, he just thinks on an entirely different level. I mean, this is Rafa with an ungodly amount of drive. Uh, we've, we've talked constantly about how he's just been falling just slightly short in the world of Quake Pro League land performances. The fact that he's not been winning these, these lands has just been something that has confused people. But this is, this is why. This is the Rafa that everyone always expects to see. And he is way healthier. Razy has to disengage. He needs the rocket. The he's bubbles. already got the rocket. That was the priority for Rafa. He's done it. Now we can hold a choke point. He oh, no. a hole. He doesn't need to commit, but will he do it anyway? Yes, he has. And that will win in this tie. That is 10 seconds left on the clock, and that is a dominant performance all round. The ball rush at and the to end. Finish it, the the rocket, rocket combo. Rapper is going to win the stage two finals of the Quick Pro League. Incredible. He came up against Razy, potentially the favorite after some of the performances of day one. He plays him twice, and he doesn't drop a map. The strategy was amazing, the aim was incredible, and this is the most commanding performance I've seen from a Quake player ever. A complete opposite effect of when they went head to head a couple of years ago. That time it was Razy, but now the champion doing Liquid proud. Well done to Rafa. Well done to Rafa, and let's go over to Jackie. Wow. I'm here on stage with a legend in his own right, and now a legend again in Quake Champions. You've come in, Back to back, Frios, you just don't mess about anymore, do you? Um, uh, this tournament really, really. Oh, sorry. Uh, this tournament really, really mattered to me. Um, I managed to be the only one in Quake Live that was able to win back to back IEMs. And for us to have Quake back at IEM again and have the chance to three peat that, I was really, really driven this weekend because I don't think anybody else in IEM history has done that. I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, that's what I was really striving for. and. I'm just glad I could show the world what I'm really capable of and if I'm playing my A game every single time and it's a really, really satisfying feeling. Because that's, that's the crazy part, is it was almost this form you've established coming into this event. Is this something we expect to see now consistently back on land? You've achieved it regularly online. Will you keep this going from this point forward into stage three, Rafa? Um, I'm going to try, but I mean, this is the Quake Pro League for a reason. Like, it could be another day where Razy is playing a bit better. Um, I think at the next LAN, their shape is going to be even better. They're going to be more motivated to try to win again. Um, so I'm just going to have to keep putting in the work. And uh, I mean, obviously, the goal is to win every tournament. Well, you did it here. You won it. And now you deserve that belt. Get on over there. Take it. You are our champion. Rappa has dominated.
Rafa has claimed the belt. He's walked away as champion once again here at the Stage 2 Quake Pro League Finals. That is it for our finals, but we will be back next week online, same time, same place. We'll see you there, but for now, it's all about Rafa!